This video will take you on a brief tour of Oxygen Content Fusion, a flexible, intuitive documentation platform where content authors can publish content and collaborate with subject matter experts in their documentation review process. There will be two parts to this video. In Chapter 1, we'll explore the basic review task workflow. This is for those who use Content Fusion in conjunction with the CMS integration with Oxygen XML Editor or Author. And Chapter 2 will provide a tour of the project functionality in Content Fusion. This is for users who manage a DITA project hosted in a Git repository. First, let's explain what a Content Fusion project is. It provides a way to manage a DITA project. You can create review tasks inside a project and the reviewer's suggestions are tracked on a dedicated Git branch. This branch is merged into the project's default branch, which means reviewer's feedback can be traced in your Git repository. This traceability even works when reviewers are editing in the same topic concurrently. It also helps authors build web help or PDF outputs for the DITA project via publications and deliverables. And it acts as a read-only clone of your Git repository so that you can use Content Fusion within your existing workflows and tools without the need for any type of migration. In this chapter, we'll show some examples of review task workflows. In general, a typical flow would start with the content author creating a review task because they have some documents that need to be reviewed. They would share the review task with a subject matter expert who would review and make suggested changes to the documents, and then the content author would integrate the changes back into their documentation project. The first workflow that we'll present uses Oxygen XML Editor, or Author, to initiate the task creation process. To demonstrate this, we'll create a task in Oxygen by dragging files that need to be reviewed and drop them in the new task box. We'll give it a title and upload. This saves the task on the Content Fusion server. We'll click on the task to open it in the browser. After logging in, that particular task is now open in the Content Fusion browser interface. We'll go to the settings to make sure concurrent editing is enabled so that we can show that feature in action. Then we need to share the task with the subject matter experts. One way to share the task would be to copy the shareable link, then select the option anyone who opens the link is automatically granted access as a reviewer and the shareable link would then be sent to the reviewer using a chat application, email, or whatever method is appropriate. We'll open one of the files, and since concurrent editing is enabled, the author can actually see changes being made by the other collaborator as they type. Now we'll switch to the perspective of the reviewer. After finishing their review and making their proposed changes, they can click the Finalize My Review button to let the content author know that they are done reviewing all documents within the task. We'll navigate back to the main review task page to note that you can click the Show Finalized Review Task button at the bottom to see the finalized tasks. Going back to the perspective of the content author, we'll open the task again and the same file, and they could decide how to handle the proposed changes. In our case, we'll accept all changes. Note that you can click the Task Activity button to track the activity history for the task. You can click Search to find specific text within any of the files in the task. You can click the In Reviews tab to filter review items, for example, to filter only those added by a certain author. The content author can close the review task to lock it while they integrate the changes. Note that the Reopen Review button can be used to reopen it. If we go back to the My Review Task page, you can see the status of the task, basically whether it's in review or closed. Back in Oxygen, the content author can hover over the task box and click Get Changes and it will open the built-in merge tool. You can choose from available merge actions for each change. We'll keep it as automatically merge and click apply to integrate the changes. Another way to retrieve the changes would be to open the task in the browser and click the download icon to download a zip file that contains a Git repository with the task files. This is for better traceability. 
Now we'll go back to the perspective of the subject matter expert or a reviewer to show you that they also have the ability to create a task directly in the browser. After giving the task a name, they could click New File to create a new file from a template. The new file is automatically opened in the visual editor with a basic starting structure. They would then add content to the topic. The next logical step would be to share the task with the content author so that they can integrate the suggestions. This time we'll add a specific collaborator. And we'll also change their role to be a co-owner on the task. In our example, John could then download the content of the task and integrate it into their documentation project. There is also a more tightly integrated review workflow optimized for data projects that are stored in a Git repository. Some benefits include it's faster to create tasks and to select the data context. You can group tasks by project for easier management and it provides improved change traceability. You can see more details about that when we introduce the data project functionality in the next chapter. In this chapter, we'll demonstrate the Content Fusion project functionality for those who work with a data project that is hosted in a Git repository. This type of integration uses a slightly different licensing model, where in addition to users with a subject matter expert role automatically being assigned with floating licenses, it also has a certain number of user-based licenses available for users with an author role. This is managed by a server admin in the Content Fusion administration page. Back in the Content Fusion interface, this type of integration includes a projects button in the left stripe. This opens a page where you see all the projects that you have access to. First, we'll click the new project button to show you how to create a new project. We'll need to give it a name, provide a description, Specify the URL of the repository. Specify the branch. For visibility, you can select public or private. We'll choose private to restrict access to select members. And then we'll select the credentials to use for connecting to the Git repository. Note that the Git account must already have been created by an administrator. Once the project is created, you see that the file structure is shown in the side view, making it easy to view the content. We'll navigate back to the main projects page using the breadcrumb and open an existing project to show you more features. Since this is a private project, only members of the project can view and access it. We'll go to the members page to add another member to the project. As mentioned, projects support a more tightly integrated review process where you can quickly create review tasks inside a project. You need to click the three vertical dots next to the file you want added and select Add to Review Task. We'll give it a title and select a context publication, which is the data map and data about pair that will be used for profiling and to resolve keys in the topics that will be sent for review. Note that the changes made to a project-based review task are stored in the Git repository and will be merged in the project's default branch and pushed to the upstream remote repository when the task is finished. Also note that all the authors that have access to a project will be able to see all review tasks created in that project. We'll open the file that's attached to the task and we can see that a reviewer has made some changes. We'll close the review task to prevent reviewers from making any new changes. We then have access to a Start Integration button. This opens a file comparison and merge tool where you can visually see the differences. In our case, we'll copy all changes from right to left, in other words, from the remote copy to our local copy. Then we'll click Finish Integration to complete the merge. Next, we'll use Oxygen's Git client to look at the commit history for the repository to show you how the commits are processed. 
You can see that there were commits for the changes to the files within the review task, and they were merged into the branch with an integrate task commit. Back in Content Fusion, we'll go to Publications. Remember that when we created the review task within the project, we selected a context publication, which is because we already have some defined. Now we'll show you how to create one. Basically, a Content Fusion publication defines a Didimap and Didaval filter pair, and we'll give it a name, specify the map, the Didaval, and click Create. With the publication defined, we can now create a deliverable, so we'll click on Deliverables in the left stripe and we'll click New Deliverable. A Content Fusion Deliverable defines the output for a publication. We'll give it a name, a description, specify the publication we just created. Notice that you can define an automatic build schedule. The type can be PDF or Web Help. We'll choose Web Help and click Save. Now we'll click Build for that deliverable to process the transformation. After it's finished, notice it shows whether or not the build was successful. It also has some tools to help you customize the output to your liking. We'll click Edit for that deliverable, and this time select Choose Other Template. You can simply choose a built-in template, but we'll go further and use an existing one as a template to customize further. So we'll select a template, click the three vertical dots, select Duplicate and Edit, give it a name, and click Duplicate. This opens it in the integrated Oxygen Styles basket, which is a simple web-based tool that makes it very easy to customize the look and fill of your PDF or web help output. We'll just make a very simple change and add a logo. and then click Finish, and it automatically goes back to the previous Content Fusion page. We need to select the template and click Choose, and then Save. We'll build it again. The next logical step would probably be to download the deliverable, and then you can use the downloaded archive to publish the output using whatever type of tool you want. For example, we'll demonstrate this using the popular third-party hosting platform, Netlify. Once logged in, we'll click on Deploys and upload the downloaded archive for the deliverable. And once it processes, we can click this Open Production Deploy button to see the output. That concludes this demonstration of Oxygen Content Fusion. Thank you for watching. We welcome you to try Content Fusion using our online demo available at fusion.oxygenxml.com.